your Central Coast forecast from KSBW Weather. Live view, sky cam made at the Embassy Suites in Seaside. Our camera's just being attacked by bugs, but that's not the focus of this camera shot. The focus is those foggy conditions. Pretty intense fog this morning. More intense than I've seen it since I've started doing this, but we have these days every once in a while on the Central Coast, not too shocking. The marine layer is just extra thick today. Humidity right now is 93%. The temperature is 54 degrees. Mid 50s is going to be the, the temperature for much of the central coast from Santa Cruz all the way down to about Soledad. But there's areas that are already breaking into the 60s and our thermometer in Carmel Valley is registering the 70s. So we're already seeing that difference depending on where you are. Some areas, especially in our inland communities, are already warming up. That will be the trend today. 12 hour forecast now you can see this warming trend throughout the day. We're going to reach a really serious highs. We are in a pretty intense, but thankfully pretty short heat wave. So for the next couple of days, expect really hot conditions. Also expect pretty clear skies. We're already seeing clearing skies. They're going to burn off super quickly. That fog's going to go away and with it will go the clouds. And then we're in for a mostly sunny day on the coast and completely sunny day for our inland communities. Taking a look at our heat alert map here, you can see an excessive heat warning for much of California, including much of the central coast. With the exception of the immediate coastline here, pretty much be advised to stay inside because it's going to get very hot out there. There are precautions that you should be taking. Check in on the people around you, your family, your friends. If you live on the immediate coastline, it's not going to get that hot, but you probably know someone who lives in King City or the Santa Cruz Mountains or Gilroy or Morgan Hill. Make sure that they're doing okay. Make sure that they have AC or they have a place to cool down. If they don't have AC, it's going to be an exceptionally hot day. Watch out for your pets. Watch out for your kids. Maybe today's a day that you hit the beach. Come out to the coast where it's going to be much cooler. Go to a creek or a river. Go to a place where you can cool down because it's going to be one of those days that you have to look out for the community around you. Across California, we're seeing this heat wave impact lots of areas. Death Valley could set a record to be the hottest place ever recorded today. It's not quite on track to do that, but it's very possible that they get more hot throughout the day and set that record. That's something that we're going to be keeping an eye on. Here on the Central Coast, much cooler, uh, 64 degrees on the Monterey side of the coast. That's pretty average. If you're living in Monterey, you're really not going to notice a difference. It's just going to be slightly sunnier. However, you go inland, those temperatures go up dramatically. 80 on the low end, well into the hundreds on the high end, above average temperatures throughout the area, drink lots of water. Depending on where you are, the forecast will be dramatically different. 70s in San Francisco and Oakland, 80s over by the San Francisco airport, and by the time you reach Redwood City, we're looking at 90s, 100 degrees in Los Gatos. Santa Cruz Mountains carrying on that 100, 101 Boulder Creek, a little bit cooler, but still 80 in San Cruz, expected to be the high. In the immediate coastline of Moss Landing in the 70s, 74 in Prunedale, but 95 in Hollister. And I don't know if you caught that, but Morgan Hill, the highest of the Central Coast region, general Central Coast region, 103 expected to be the high. 100 in King City today. That cools down to 75 in Salinas. And the reason why is the Monterey Bay has just this amazing cooling pattern. And then on the Monterey coastline, mid 60s, some 70s here and there, but just generally very cool. Those warm temperatures will carry into tonight where we're going to be seeing mostly uh, warmer temperatures by about 10 degrees. The good news is this heat wave is going to end very quickly. By Monday, dramatic cool down by about 12 degrees. And next week, we're going to forget all about that.